finally, after a week, in fact, months of negotiation, Maharashtra has a government. It is in the name of Uddhav Thakre, who was sworn in as the chief minister on Thursday evening at Shivaji Park, where his father... Bal Thakre had addressed his first Dashera rally to announce the birth of the party itself, Shiv Sena, back in 1966. Six members were sworn in with him. Soon after his oath, uh, uh, Uddhav Thakre even chaired his first cabinet meeting and a decision was taken to give rupees 20 crore more to Raigai. That's the CM who said he wants true details about uh, the work done for the farmers. He also said so far only announcements have been made, but... Uh, be it the loan waiver or crop insurance or PM Kisan Yojana and that he wants money to go directly in the hands of the farmers. But as soon after the swearing in, Uddhav Thakre chaired, like I said, a cabinet meeting. Uh, he assured the people that the alliance will give a good government and that he wants to take steps that would make farmers happy. Interestingly, those found sitting in that cabinet meeting, and we'll just get to that shot in just a bit, that's the picture I'm talking about, but actually some of them were not even sworn in, like Aditya Thakre on your right, like Ajit Pawar. Both leaders almost said to be part of the cabinet but not sworn in, but all seen sitting in the first cabinet of Maharashtra. कॉमन मिनिमम संविधान में जो सीमा देखिए ना पढ़िए ना प्रियम्बर में लिखा है क्या है लिखा है संविधान में जो कुछ है वो है अब सारे लोगों को पता है कि महाराष्ट्र के जो काश्तकार है किसान है बहुत ही मुश्किल में है मैं छुटपुट बातें उनके लिए नहीं करना चाहता इसलिए मैंने निर्देश दिए हैं कि आज तक जितनी सारी योजना वो राज्य सरकार ने और केंद्र सरकार ने उनके लिए की है घोषित की है कितनी पूंजी उसके लिए एक्चुअल यूज की गई है और कितनी होना बाकी है पूरा चित्र स्पष्ट होने के बाद जो एक मेरे, मेरे मन में बात है वो मैं जरूर करूंगा हमारे साथी हैं वो भी आ, साथ में हैं और किसान खुश हो जाएगा ऐसे हम तो जरूर करेंगे लेकिन इसके लिए मैंने निर्देश दिए हैं कि आज तक क्या क्या हुआ है all right so that was the first uh, briefing of uddhav thakre as a chief minister never ever a member of the thakre family has sat in that position earlier so interesting times ahead and saurabh gupta with us to give us more details on that saurabh the first cabinet meeting happened farmers pretty much the focus of it it's not going to be a role that comes easy to somebody like uddhav thakre who's always known or understood how to run government only through remote control well, yes, he has a tough job ahead of him, and especially because of the kind of alliance he leads, where there are so many contradictions within the alliance itself. But at the moment, you also remember that you know he has the support and guidance of Sharad Pawar, and Sharad Pawar is adept at leading alliances and managing alliances, uh, given the fact that he's been in real politics for so many years, uh, and you know has been a chief minister before, has been a union minister before. So a lot will also depend on how Sharad Kumar handles this because uh, it seems that uh, Uddhav Thakri and Sharad Kumar have been working in tandem to make this alliance happen. And if that kind of cooperation continues, then perhaps Uddhav Thakri will have a slightly easier job. But it's definitely going to be challenging. <coughs> also, the fact is that uh, there are so many expectations from uh, this government given that they've promised. I mean, there are some things that will uh, require a lot of political will to deliver. And uh, that is something that perhaps they will uh, look at, given the fact that, you know, this is, of course, a chance for them to also prove their worth. And uh, things like, you know, the 500 square feet homes uh, in slum uh, redevelopment projects, also, you know, the fact is that, you know, the loan waiver for farmers, all of these issues are going to be challenging to implement. And uh, at the moment, it seems they have the will. But will they be able to see it through till the last moment, till the till its logical conclusion? Is still something that many consider is a challenge for this government. But also there is hope amongst farmers because remember the farmers who came to 
to this place yesterday were very, very happy.